Yes, indeed, that is good news. So Monday morning, uh, when I woke up, I had an email from not only from Lego but also from uh, Jordan with the land. I'm like, I don't know how I got included in a land email, but I did. <laughs> and uh, they, in this, Jordan's email didn't have anything to do with it, but I just went and checked the news, which I never do. I never look at the Lego news, so I went to Lego news and then also had it in the email. But the thing that caught my attention was that, that the gold coin and all of the coins, perhaps, are going to be available. Uh, the gold coin will be available May 20th, which uh, the day that you're watching this will be tomorrow. And then they said that later in the year they will bring back the other coins. So that is really good news. So here... On this channel, Brigazar, we are all about Lego. My name's Jabbo, and I complain a lot um, because I'm an entitled brat, and I always want my way. No, <laughs> I just want things to be easy or fair. <laughs> Maybe not necessarily easy, but just fair for everybody. And yeah, this this is uh, good news that the coin is going to be available tomorrow finally complete my list and i would hope that i'd be able to get a second coin now because i got the five case thing oh, i'm looking over there it's on the shelf but it holds five and then i got the individual cases i'm like i take which case do i put them in uh, you know it's like it's a waste so it would be nice well actually even if i got another coin then i would have two of this individual coin holders i don't know what i'm supposed to do but anyway i'm not going to complain about it because i'm hoping that i We'll be able to get the gold coin tomorrow. It won't sell out, but who knows? It might still sell out. Oh, we'll see what happens. I, I think they've Lego has been listening to us. And I don't know who left that message. It sounded like BR, but uh, I, yeah, somebody left. Let me know who it was in the message that left the message. And I got another one that we'll play at the end from Cajun Yeti. <laughs> now I know why he's Cajun. Um, so this is from Target. I want to thank James, who sent me an email. He's like, you know those six-pack things are at Target. 71030 is six individual minifigure bags. And allegedly, 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 uh, the six that are in one box are different. Now, it doesn't mean that some of the ones that are in this box might not also be in this one and be, but six separate ones. So no, no duplicates in here, no duplicates in here, but you may have crossover with them. So uh, Lego had these on the website, but when I went to buy them, they were sold out. So I got these from Target. And it's neat getting the little white mystery box. <laughs> so I may do a separate video opening these. Now I kind of want to keep the box um separate uh the next package oh i'm, I'm leading up to something this is the one it's, it's a, <laughs> i'm happy to get so this is from brick model railroader i purchased all right um guys at brick model, model railroader kale and um glenn y'all y'all have like i guess after the pandemic y'all have gone like full blast into this thing i cannot even buy everything used to every model they would uh have instructions for i'd buy those instructions i can't i can't now <laughs> there's too many of them <laughs> so i didn't get everything i don't think i got everything i wanted to get uh, maybe later i'll go back and buy some more all right let's see what we got here all right, so yeah, they shipped the instruction, the uh, sticker se separately for this bad boy. So I still have. No, oh, dang it! I don't know where that went. So I lost another. Oh, goodness! All right, never grab them from the bottom. And I don't know what this, where this thing goes on here. I'm gonna put it here. Have no idea if that's where it goes. 
I can't see it. But anyway, I got the those. All right, so I got two things with stickers. All right, so we got the EMD SD40-2. And I got this one, see, the Norfolk Southern version. I think I also got the stickers for the Norfolk Southern, yeah, decals. I say stickers, but the decals. So I got that. And then the other one is this one. Oh, so as a kid, I loved Burlington Northern, even though Burlington Northern never came down here. Oh, I shouldn't say never. There was a couple of times a locomotive somehow snuck down here. But I love Burlington Northern green and black. So these are the SD42. So apparently, even though these are similar locomotives, I guess with the different color schemes, they've released these in different packs instead of having one and then like alternate builds. Because uh, it's a little tricky with the colors, I suppose. Let me see in here. Oh, wow. A lot of little extra parts. But, um, yeah. Decals. And these are in a binder. Oh, that's neat. So, that's different. They got a spiral bound. Uh, not binder. Spiral bound. So, that's pretty cool. So, thank you for that. Now, the the... The whole thing in now is uh, acquiring the parts. <laughs> uh, and these are designed by Chris Stone, it says on the box there. Chris Stone. So, get some locomotives to pull my rolling stock. And now i got to get HO scale versions of both of these uh, when, or when I build those. SD40. I'd like to get the with the same road numbers. So, I'm going to do that. I don't know which version... Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, brick model railroader. Uh, instruction. Premium instructions. All right. A while back, Lego released something that you could only get in one place unless you were in the land. <laughs> but guess what? Thanks to a site called eBay, I have got it finally. Did my microphone fall? I don't know. All right, this is this it? This I hope it is. Yes. All right. So this, the final auction price on this was a dollar. Oh my goodness! This is bigger than I thought. <laughs> Hold on. It is a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. You know, all this bubble is well packed. This guy, it took this guy forever to ship it, but check it out. The molding machines. So the limited edition number one was the duck, which uh, thank you Brickatech uh, who purchased that for me. But now we got the brick molding machine. I got a little crease on my box there. Uh, I can live with it. So I purchased this with my money. It was a dollar plus two hundred and something dollar shipping. I don't know why he listed it that way. It made no sense to me. But uh, this is the one of the things where they sent it to the land, and then those people would be like, "Oh, you can only get this at the Lego house." And I'm like, "Well, where'd you get it?" <laughs> I'm snarky. Um, and, uh, uh, this is one of those things. It's like if you're going to make it a Lego house exclusive, just leave it that way uh, leave it where you can only get it going to the lego house don't yeah <laughs> but i i got mine without paying the ridiculous amount of airfare to get over there so thank you ebay and man this sits a lot bigger than i expected and lego please you know if you're going to send it to the, this is the way i feel and I don't think this is an entitled feeling, but if you're going to send this set to land members and then those land members are going to say you can only get it at the Lego house, I think you should make it available for sale from the Lego house. I did directly contact Lego house and they, they don't say, oh, we don't know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, or, or so yeah, cause it's like not everybody can go to the Lego house. Um, I, 
don't have that kind of money. I, I would love to go to the Lego house. I mean, that's a dream to go. I'd love to go do Lego inside tour, but it's not, you know, I'm not Mr. Moneybags here, so I can't afford to go. Uh, but maybe one day we will be able to do that. But anyway, got that. Pretty good haul. Pretty good day. Thank you, Lego, for fixing your VIP, or at least one thing with the VIP. I'm sure I'll find something to complain about later. So let's go see what the Cajun Yeti said. Oh, and I think I got the answering machine fixed. Now, Cajun Yeti, his was ended up being left with the digital voicemail, so he didn't get... i got to figure out how to leave the greeting for that one in case the... Um, old machine fails to activate the, the call uh, but yeah let's see what Cajun Yeti said and I'll see you guys in the next video oh it's a, a Brick Fair Alabama uh, polo shirt I think these are called polos I don't know maybe one day we'll go to Brick Fair again actually it's just a Brick Fair shirt not specifically Alabama because that's not even Alabama that's like Washington DC or something if this is Jabbo, this is your boy, the Cajun Eddie. Just want to say, yeah, I figured out the uh, the phone number and that. I just want to say thank you for the great content and what you do and keep up the great work. Love your videos, man. And hopefully you actually get this. And hopefully this is an actual number. If not, this is crazy, man. But it's your boy, the Cajun Eddie, the one that you've been talking to on actually Instagram. Thank you for your great content, and I'll catch you in the next one.